Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly install Python for Windows uh, and also how to fix any issues you have uh, if you install it incorrectly or if you're not having it not work in your environment. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to this python.org slash download slash Windows URL in a browser. And I'll put this in the link in the description below so you'll be able to see this here. Um, and one of the first questions I get asked is, which package do I want to install? Okay, and it depends on if you're using a your computer uses a uh, x64 based processor or an x32 or in other words x89 uh, bit processor. In the majority of cases it's going to be the 64 bit but if you really want to find out in your folder icon here you can click here and under this PC icon right click click properties and then look for system type and you'll see which one you have. So you see here I'm using this x64 based processor so I'm using that x64 bit um, installer. If you saw x32 or x89, then you want to use the x32 the bit installer instead. So now, which one do we actually want to use out of all these? Right, the easiest one that I found is this Windows installer. So I'm going to click this this one right here, um, and it's going to pop up in my downloads here. So I'm going to click Open File, and then one of the most important things you want to do is make sure you check off this Add Python.exe to Path. What this does. This actually is going to add the uh, Python executable file to the path, like the actual folders that house this these executable path, this executable path to the Windows path. What that means is that in any folder you're in in Windows, you can run Python commands by using this. Okay, if you forget to do this, or if you're having an error and an issue with Python after this, it's probably because you didn't do this. And I'll show you how to fix it after. Um, but then I'll sh I'll show you here. And then normally you don't have to click this. Um, Privileges, it's it's you know not a big deal unless you absolutely have to, so I'm gonna leave this blank. Um, one more thing about this path. Let me just show you exactly what I mean as well. So if I go to the environment variables, so I click this Windows icon, I click type in env and click on environment variables, and then click on this environment variables tab here. And I go to the path. If you see right now, I only have my user profile listed here. I'm gonna show you what happens uh, after we install Python and what that actually does after you check this path. Okay, then I'm gonna click install. It's going to install the kind of executables, the scripts, test suites, uh, kind of anything that's needed for Python in just a really nice, easy way. Uh, and then I'll show you how it actually works and what it looks like, and if you have any issues again, uh, how to fix it. So this should just take another second here to install. And then we will get right into it. So it installed. Uh, if you get this option to disable path length, I normally do not select this. So I do not click this. Um, what this means is there's a window Windows path limit of 260 characters. So for example, if you have a folder path of like folder 1, folder 2, folder 3, folder 4, all the way to like folder 260, and then my file dot, you know, txt or whatever it is, if it's over 260, you're going to hit like an error limit. I've really ever seen paths be that long, so I don't normally ever have to do that. If you need to, you can always disable this, but I, I rarely ever do, so I'm not going to select that. I'm just going to hit close. Okay, and then what you can do to check if it's correctly installed is in this Windows icon here, type CMD, click Enter to go to your command prompt, or you can go to PowerShell as well, and then type in Python hyphen hyphen version. And it should pop up with that Python version, see how it's installed. You can also just type in Python, right, and get to your uh, REPL, type in exit here, and then enter to exit, and it's all installed. So if that's normally happening to you, you're done. You're all set. But if you're having an issue or an error, let me show you how to fix it. So if you remember, if I go back to my environment variables, click on that environment variables again in this path. If you remember, I only had that one user profile piece listed. But if you see now, Python automatically added these three pieces. These are the folders that help or where the executable pieces for Python lie that then mean that in any like folder that I'm in in Windows, I can then run Python commands because it'll check and say, hey, actually, I uh, added this to the path, run those commands because I can find the actual executable files because they're in these folders. Okay, now let me show you what happens if you have an issue with this. Okay, so if I were to delete this, okay, all right, those are all deleted now. Again, that's like if you don't check off that, that path box if you, or if you have an issue or have an error launching Python. And now if I go back to another command line, Type in Python version, right? Nothing comes up. If I type in Python, right? Or if you get like an error message, 
Same thing, it's gonna say you need to install Python, but again, it's already installed. So to fix this, what you can do is go to your Windows icon again and type in Python. It should bring up your Python app. And then what you do is click on this open file location. And then sometimes it'll come with this shortcut. If it does, just right click again here and then click on uh, open file location again. This will actually take you to your actual path. If you see, this was one of the paths that was listed. This is the folder, this Python 3.1.2 folder. That's the version 3.12 that we have. Um, actually leads to that executable, right? So if I right click here, click properties, that's that .exe file, right? That executes the, the Python application. Um, so what you can do, and the other option to search for this, if you didn't do that Windows piece, you actually go to like either C here or um, this PC, and then just type in like Python here, click enter, and then it'll bring up like all your Python stuff, and then just search for this Python file here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we have to add this to our path. So I'm gonna actually uh, select and then control C to copy this. Okay, then I'm gonna go back and type in env, edit the system environment variables, environment variables, click on path, and then I'm gonna click new, and I'm gonna paste that in. And then I'm gonna click this backslash, so it's like a folder path, hit enter. And it's really important, make sure you move this up. So move this up past your user profile piece. Make sure it's above that there. That's really important. And if you just do this, now if I go in, right, and if I go back and type in Python now, it'll bring up that version correctly. But there's one more piece you also wanna add. If you saw it also, click on this scripts folder. You also wanna add this scripts folder to your path as well. The reason is, is because this is where your pip, your Python package installer lies. So to be able to install packages correctly, you wanna be able to access this executable, this application. So you also wanna copy this scripts folder and add it to your path as well. So go back here. Environment variables, right, path, new, paste this in, backslash, hit enter, and then move this up again just to make sure it's path this user profile. Okay, now to pretty much configure your environment. The last piece that, remember if it, it, you mentioned, it had three, it has this installer. This is kind of an optional one that you, 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 it might be useful to have if you want to. So what you can do is you know either click here or if you need to find out where this is, okay, it's usually in your C drive, right, and then users, and then your username. And then if you saw, the path was app data, but I don't see an app data folder here. The reason is because it's actually hidden by default. So to view it, you actually click on this view icon here, click the drop down, and then click on this show, and then type in, check off this hidden items. Then it should pop up with your app data, right? And then you can go to local, and then programs, right? And it should be this Python, and then this launcher, okay? And then you wanna just go and copy this path here. And if you wanted to unshow those hidden icons, just go back here and unclick that, and it'll unshow that. Um, and then again, add this to your path. Okay, got a backslash, and then move this up just to make sure it's above. Okay, click okay. All right, let's put another command line. Again, version, it's good. Python, and it worked. And that configures everything correctly for you, um, just in case it wasn't working. So hope this video was helpful. Uh, thank you for your time.